What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We back here with some more League of Legends content. This time we're checking out their song Legends Never Die featuring Against the Current. Now, this is one of the things that since I've begun my League of Legends journey has been very, very well requested. I'm super excited. Doesn't look like there's a video. I am aware that there is a uh, live performance of it, and there might be something else that I go and do if there's enough interest in me doing a reaction to that. But we're going to hear the audio first. So let's go ahead, shut up and turn it up. I'm ready, baby. Never die when the world is calling you. Can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die, they become a part of you. Every time you play for reaching greatness, relentless, you survive. You know, there's something about uh, the the. It's not necessarily a cappella, but when the vocals are unencumbered by a whole lot of instrumentals and stuff in the uh, in the background, and we could just kind of hear that pure sounding out of uh, the female that's singing and everything. I love that, right? Especially when you want to try to build dramatization and, and and epicness on this journey that you're taking us through, right? They had a little delay in everything that was going on. I think I just heard it in my right ear. That was very nice. Very good at painting this soundscape. Now they're starting very very soft right with the pianos everything sounds like it's filtered or, or yeah, it, well it is filtered and everything which of course as we heard that little drum right there we're about to get straight into the action and i love that right because that leaves that, that that leaves a lot of room for some epic build-up and we're only 37 seconds in and we're already about to hit that build-up so once the hook actually comes in and starts dropping it's probably about to be insane let's keep it going freaking knew it man i freaking knew it what a drop man oh man that snare is just hitting so hard especially came in that just oh my yo goosebumps man goosebumps the riot music team they they's been doing some phenomenal stuff now i know this came out in 2017 and everything and of course they've up their game by a whole lot but i'm telling you, the production value never fails man never fails and and i don't think league of legends is ever going to lose so support and everything they've they've been doing some phenomenal things and the music with the cinematics and their gameplay and everything it's it's not hard to see why their fandom is so huge and then you got epic music like this it's almost like riot is basically just saying like we can do it all right you want cinematics i got you you want you want addicting gameplay you want video games i got you cinematic orchestra orchestrated pieces i got you uh uh, this song, the genre of this kind of uh, um, strikes me as future based, right? I got you. Like pretty much anything, right? And then the vocals are on top of this. The snare just coming in. They got that little reverb on it. Almost kind of have like a live sounding effect. That's a drop, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going. Hold on, one more thing. And then Peep, Peep How, they just exit they they just cut off all the instrumentation at the at, at, at the end of that drop right so obviously there's a couple of things that that does one thing that it does do is it reinforces just how heavy of a drop that was right because imagine you just listening to a whole bunch of stuff that's super loud and all of a sudden a complete silence it's going to be a shock to your system right and then immediately your head is just going to be referencing about how loud it was as opposed to how quiet it is i think that's like a and, and you quote me if i'm wrong because i'm i'm no producer or well, i'm an amateur producer but but um, I feel like it's like an industry secret or if, or if that's something that I normally see in like future based. I see it a lot in future based stuff. OK, I just wanted to point that out. Die, down in 
is something else man oh my goodness oh man. i can't wait to get this on some home some, some some studios or something with like absolutely crushing bass right even my airpods will probably sound a little bit better than this but get on some speakers and really start hearing that kick and that snare come through and just really just smack you up like whoo now yeah but the the harmonies when she's singing higher like nah, just never that part right there those harmonies ah oh, that's just a setup for destruction man nobody stood any type of chance listening to this right you you never stood a chance the makings oh wait did they have an actual video it's shorter okay okay that that no that's absolutely amazing did they have an actual video oh they did they had an actual video this is probably what i should have watched um Do I dare? I'm at eight minutes right now. All right, fine. We're going to watch the cinematic as well. You guys are getting two in one. I'm, here's the thing. I'm invested now. <clears throat> I find myself in my, I find myself in my spare time re reading, listening, uh, reading some of the lore, you know, can't bring myself to play the game, but I'm, I'm very interested. I'm invested now. So you guys are getting two in one. Heard the audio. Now it's time to look at the cinematic. It's like a, it's like a, like a stop motion almost, right? Can you hear them screaming out your name? Not stop motion. You, you guys know what I mean. The same kind of, it almost looks like the same type of animation we saw um, with the Miles Morales of Spider-Man. What was it? What was that called? Spider-Verse? never die. They become a part of you. Every time Reduced uh, frame rate.
they just have a movie? That's why I need to go find out. Do they have a movie? All this, come on, man. I swear, they put out a movie. It's probably because they have so much lore, right? Because it's, it's, it's to me, right? Somebody was coming in new, right? Kind of hot and new. It's it's a little bit overwhelming. So I wonder if they were to start a movie, where would they start, right? Because we need some backstory. Unless, since League of Legends has been out a while, they might make them, if they were to make a movie, assuming that they don't, I mean, I, I guess I could just, you know, just a simple little uh, League of Legends movie. <clears throat> they don't have any current plans to introduce full business unit that will cater to film and television. It says they're on a constant sense of re, re, uh, reinvention. The first season of Riot. Oh, oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Arcane, yes. Yeah, I, I, I know about Arcane. I've seen it and everything. I was more talking about movie sense, but the TV actually is not that bad. As a matter of fact, uh, when did they hold on? When did they real? When did they post that? What was that information from? Um, that was that was in 2021. So, you know, Arcane was already made. Is that when it came out? I can't remember. That's when they said constant reinvention. So, you know, obviously Arcane seen a whole lot of success. Uh, I don't know, you know, generally when they're making stuff like this, they kind of venture out to find out, all right, how well will something like this do when they release it? And I have a mind to think that Arcane probably absolutely blew their minds as far as bringing in, like they probably had a sense of expectancy of how many new fans they were going to bring in, if not for the game, if for the lore, right? Which is going to serve them all the way around the circle, regardless if you play the game, you're going to watch your stuff, regardless, you're going to be consuming their content. Um, uh, but I wonder that they put that as more like a test to see if they were to turn into a full-blown movie, just what would that interest lie but i i wouldn't be surprised start off as tv series that's doing absolutely well they're gonna do a season two move that into a movie profit That's pretty good aiming. Shrugged it off like it was nothing. We going beast mode. That's pretty cool transition to like the actual. That's tight. I mean, honestly, the way that they kind of set up all of this right now is just it really makes you feel like you entering like 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 you are part of their 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 lore, their cinematic universe, you know, especially with them kind of uh, merging that into like an actual like arena where you walk in and you about to perform. And they got this song blasting, dude, if you don't feel like very, very good, like like the most epic dude of possible, then, uh, then they haven't done their job. <laughs> right. <laughs> They haven't done their job. You walking in there, you feeling this music, bro. You feel like you about to tear some heads off, right? Oh, man, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, I told you guys I couldn't get enough. Uh, we're going to do some more of these. Um, a lot of what takes a minute for me to uh, do them, uh, it all depends on what his performance looks like, right? I have certain metrics that I like to meet. Um, so if you guys want me to... I mean, I Honestly, I don't even care about the metrics at this point. I told you guys that I'm invested. I'm going to be doing these things, even if this only gets 200 views. So... Okay, thank you guys for sticking with me through this commentary. I know some of you guys hate it uh, when reactors pause, but I got some stuff to say. So that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.